Hi guys, welcome to part two. Um, sorry I got cut off a little bit early, but um, anyway, so um, last time we left off with the uh little uh power of Christ with Pelsy thing. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So now you just move this a little bit over. Uh, go ahead and click the link in the first video, and um come around here so now we have that loaded up so click select stick one move that in a bit and voila you are done with your cross and the zombie and everything so now you're done with the character setup so um so you can um you know just do that so there's your characters so now it's time for a background so, um, you go up, you click Q, you click on this triangle and you hold it, click plane, there, now you have your plane, move that, bring it up, click the scale button, select your plane, and, um, you want to click the buttons MT, or MT, yeah, there you go, have to do it a little bit quicker, or, um, hold on, oh, my bad, sorry, that's for the second part. Don't do that. You just select the plane, just click it again. So select it to whatever height you want it to. So you click it, yeah, uh, you go to seven thousand. Let's say let's just say seven thousand. So seven thousand by seven thousand. So now what you want to do is you want to divide whatever number you used by one hundred. So seven thousand divided by one hundred would be seventy, so there and then seventy. There. So now you see you have all these nice and you have your large plane right there. Okay, so um now what you do is you come up, click the four wing thing, so you zoom out, you zoom out a bit, you select the plane, you click this button right here, which uh is a very powerful button. It allows you to start editing it. Then you select this and the entire thing should hopefully turn blue. So, um, now that that's blue, you want to come up here and select this tool right here, which is the select button. And, uh, you just basically, you want to highlight, highlight the parts that you want to raise up. And this is how you create a Minecraft background. So, you just select the part that you want to move up, you know, bring it around here a little bit. And then, you know, make a circle or something, because... You know, uh, you can't really do much with it. So, um, now that you have this circle created, um, you just, now all that should be highlighted. So, you click the shortcut MT. So, now after you press that, all this should be, still should be highlighted. So, you see this offset thing right here? You come over, you highlight that, you set that to 100. So, now after you click apply, every block gets raised once. So now you want to click UK, as in, like, United Kingdom, and then you want to click the back button and the forward button, so that way the apply button becomes available again. You click that, and then you just keep on repeating this until, um, you have no, no yellow is showing. So, um, you know, keep pressing this, and after this happens, um, you know, um, you should have a pretty nice looking background. So, um, it, it looks really nice when you're finished, but, um, even though it looks good, um, you're not exactly finished because, um, if you do this, um, it, it'll show just one, a large blob, so, um, that won't look too good. So, uh, that's why you um need to have two features um for the textures of this if this doesn't make much sense to you i'm sorry um i'm i'm getting a bit distracted here oops so now you move that forward okay so now you can see we're almost done okay that that okay and 
then hopefully this should be a final. Yep, that's our final one. All right, so now we have our little background thing. So um, let's see here. Come right here. So now you have all of this. So first of all, um, you should probably uh either have Photoshop or since I'm too cheap and I'm really young and I don't have money. Um, I go to this website called www.photoshop.com um, and um, so it takes you to this right here so it's like Photoshop except you cannot do as much so uh, first of all you create an account so now you have that account so um, click edit an image upload photo so the sad part about this is is this uh, little editing thing only selects um, only selects a JPEG images so sadly you can only use JPEG images so as you can see I have a little uh, net cube right here so um, you can't do as much as you can in the actual Photoshop but still, um, it still works nicely, so it's nice. So just go ahead and full screen this, uh, crop and rotate. Um, if you have Photoshop, you just basically do the same. Uh, you select the area that you want to keep. So you want to keep the top area of this grass. So now that that's selected, you click done, and then there's your image but I've already done that so um so you know you just that's fine so now you're back here and then you have to also get the side which um I'm not going to show you how to do since that's actually pretty dang obvious so oops wrong thing okay so now um uh I have both my pictures so I have my pictures here so load image so then uh, now you see right here there's that picture that I edited but then there's also these two right here so I want to open grass slide and then I want to take off the specular so that way that won't happen and you can go ahead and put the MIP to 9 honestly I don't see the effect in that so um, you come up here the second one you choose and you click load image and then um, Grass top. I I don't know why I named these wrong. So um, MIP none, and then you click specular. Uncheck that. So you right here. Just close that off. So now what you want to do is you have your plane selected. You take this. You take your top grass texture and you place it right here. So now that you have that, you notice. Wait a minute. This is just one large piece of grass. How do I fix that? Well, um, what you do is it says projection. You come down here, it says UV mapping. You want to change this to cubic. So now you see it's just um, all this stuff right here. But then you notice, whoa, 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 that looks like crap. That looks awful because um, everything is just that same stupid grass texture. But what you want to do is you want to click UM, oops, uh, UL, my bad, and um, you come over and it select these little lines for you. You take this, you drag it up, and you also have to select cubic for this here. So uh, let's go ahead and select all of these by holding shift. This is just a simple way. Some people go around and select every single individual face and cube and fix that up. So this is just a quick shortcut for an easier way to do this so uh, you're welcome <laughs> okay so right here right here okay um, we'll work on those later so you just come up here you drag this to there now all that's brown but now you gotta change that to cubic and there you see now you have like a little grassy texture one thing I've noticed I'm not sure if this is just my computer though is that um it follows a pattern of grass, no grass, grass, no grass, grass, no grass, grass. So 
you know, that's just how I saw it. So, um, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and select UL again, so that way we can, uh, highlight, oops, undo that, highlight the rest of these. So you click, oh, you, by the way, I'm sorry, I should have told you this from the very beginning. You hold down 3 to rotate your uh, image. So, um, anyway, uh, shift, select, select, and then 3, so now you have select, 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 select. Okay, so now you take your image, you just come up, drop it right in there. So now you set that to cubic, and there you go. So now you have this and pretty much everything else. So um, that's all you really need for this picture. Um, if you want to do a sky, like a Minecraft sky, I'm honestly still trying to figure out how to do that. Uh, like how to do that. If you know how, send me in a tutorial video on uh, how to do that that would be great um, it will help me improve my tutorials too so um help me help you alright so um this is about the angle that you wanted at um, you could do a video too um, I'll teach you how to do that later so you come over you click this button right here which is the powerful render button and then it'll show everything it looks a little bit more clear a little bit more you know, nicer. So you come up, and there you have it. The power of Christ compels you. All right. Anyway, um, I think that's about it. Uh, I might include the sky if I can find a tutorial in time. But um, let's go ahead and see if I can find it. All right. Well, if not, uh, farewell. If so, uh, stick around. Okay, I'm back. And guess what? I figured out how to do it. Yay, I'm happy. Okay, so um so anyway, um what happens is is um what uh you come up and you go to the objects tool or what you could do is you come to this light thing and you come over here and you select sky and um right here, so you select sky, so I already have it open. So then what you want to do is you want to go to Google or something and get a picture of the night sky. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. And um, so after you get a picture of the night sky, you know, it looks all nice and pretty. You uh, go ahead and save it to your computer. You go to here. You open up a um, new material. Select it. Texture. Load image. Go down. You select the night sky. Go ahead and click no. I don't care if you do or not. Go ahead, exit out, and then you drag that over to here. You select the thing you want, and if you select, it'll start off with spherical, spherical, god dang it, which looks like crap. So then you come over here to cylindrical. No, still looks bad. So what you want is you want, um, frontal. This is, yes, this is what you want. So sadly with frontal it gives you two moons and whatnot. So um so uh yeah, you could just use Photoshop to take it out, uh but that would be a bit of a challenge. Or what you could do is you could go to Google and you can find one without the moon, which is just a simple way to save you oh well, crap. Well, apparently they all have a moon, but um a simple way ah, here we are. Ah Okay, um, well, a simple way to do this is to just find it, or, uh, yeah, or you could just do one that's simple with, uh, like, daytime, so, uh, sky, wait, sky, day. God, screw you, caps lock. Alright, um, so, um, yeah, I can't seem to find a picture, so this will have to do for now. Um, so what you can do is you could just do this, and you could just hide that second moon by covering it up. So now when you render it, looks like the power of Christ compels you. Alright, so, um, that's about it. So, anyway, uh, thank you very much, and, uh, hope you enjoyed this picture. And, uh, if you did, subscribe and like, and, um, 
I'll see if I can put a download in the uh, description.